numbers for first day. Yeah, as grossed more money on its first day at 31 million than made in its entire domestic run. At 20 million, adjusted for phase, it's all 60 million higher, higher than what we've seen on Wednesday. It's safe to say that this, the Bears' big street treatment of the 38 year old video game is a big hit of audiences. They gave it AC, the audiences, they love this movie. Okay. Mad Quick, Rats on Assault was at 8.7 IMDb. It's actually higher than movies like Black Panther, which is funny. You know, the movie is currently at uh, 7.5 out of 10. With 6,000 reviews, which is actually higher than Black Panther and Turning Red, Strange World, and Wet Yell. Okay. A 7.5 average score out of 10. Metacritic gets 8.7 out of 10 on Metacritic. These numbers can always fluctuate when projecting the 5 day opening gross. Mario Bros. on Wednesday raced behind this big old Me Too, which said 45 million, and opened to 143 million. Okay. First day result, which doesn't include previews, is even higher than Sonic 2. With a combined first day previews and Friday of 24 6 million as well. Sonic 2 did way, is doing, made around 31 million opening. Okay, made around 70, I think around 70 to 80 million. We don't want to say more money as John Wick did. Okay, basically. And it's going to do very similar to how John Wick, it's going to do very, John Wick 4 is going to do very similar, it's doing very similar to Sonic 2. Okay, as well. And let's not forget that 45% of K2 schools are on spring break with another 10% of college is right. Rises right, to 80% and K2 off a good Friday day as well. 80% and 41% on colleges on break. The top grossing ever for the Easter is Batman vs. Superman. While Mario is not expected to get that high, it will easily outstrip the last other movies including Princess Peach and Secrets of Dumbledore and Ready Player One. Okay. Also, L came out. Uh, no one cares about that movie. Dozens of Dragons of Honor Among Thieves and John Wick numbers are doing pretty okay. They'll be they'll be fighting L for number two as well. But Mario is doing extremely better. Okay. Mario better is better be funny for oh yeah. I haven't seen a single positive review for oh yeah. Single positive review. Yeah, the audience is like to disagree with you. Okay, Barrett. Okay. The audience is like to disagree with you about that one. Okay. We got the audience score for the Mario movie. Okay. Mad Quick. Even on the boxes is basically a more critical site. They even think it's okay. Okay, but. Audiences love this movie. Okay. Audiences. Love this movie. Okay. That's the thing here. And we do have a budget for this movie. It's around 100 million. That is the confirmed budget. But this movie has only made 66 million dollars. This is going to easily make back its money. Okay. Yeah. This movie has only this movie has made 66 million dollars worldwide. Basically, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we also have the global sales at $66 million. First day, that of course includes the Chinese sales as well. It had the top animated launch day in 11 markets. Okay. Including Germany, Spain, Argentina, Central America, and Austria. El Caribe, however, had Mexico open to 5.9 million. It's behind Toy Story 4, with, ended with over a billion dollars. UK is the best animated opening day ever. Biggest overall 2023 and Universal's top Wednesday of all time. Passing at Fast 8 and No Time to Die. Okay. Well, the thing Fast 8 made a billion dollars. 
Okay. Next up is China. It's set the biggest opening for Hollywood animation since the start of the pandemic. As well as the second biggest day opening studio. Its score is the highest for animated title for the past five years. Okay. Journey is Universal's best opening of all time. It's also the best opening since Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And the second opening a regular SP Light Avengers, obviously. In Spain. Mario plunged in with 2.2 million. Biggest opening day ever in terms of emissions. It overtakes Avatar and Doctor Strange. Became the opening the biggest opening day since the start of the pandemic, as well as the biggest April day of all time. Yes, in certain countries, Mario is beating Avatar, with Avatar made over $2 billion. Okay, France is good. Is the second highest April and Ice Age 2 and the best for illumination ever. Without any school holidays as well. Okay. Italy opened to 1.4 million. Taking 70% of the market as well. It's also the high biggest opening for an animated movie in spring. And video game adaptation. Other standards include Central America of 1.3 million. It's the second biggest opening behind Endgame in Central America. Taiwan made around 1.1 million. And Wednesday. Coming the top animated opening day ever for both animation illumination universal. As well as the biggest opening for video game adaptation. And the big, biggest April animation. Australia also bowed with yeah these are the sales that we already know okay previously Wednesday it made around eight million in China and stuff but China you know as well okay yeah but this movie is doing really well for an animated movie okay and this is the this is gonna make a lot of money okay. It's going to easily pass $250 million it needs. Okay. The fact that this is one of the biggest animated openings of all time in many countries. Okay. The fact that this is one of the biggest movies in history. But the critics told us that this was a complete garbage dumpster fire because they didn't like the story of the movie. Okay. They, didn't like, they don't like the fact that Pete's... No, Bowser likes Pete's. Yeah, that's the whole reason why they don't like this movie. Okay. You know, the world critics, they, they, they're they horrible. Okay, we all know... Okay, and there are still dummies who still believe these critics. Okay, but this movie is going to become... One of the few movies become critic-proof. Where the audiences love this movie, but the critics absolutely hate it. Okay, this is one of those movies. Look at IMDb, 7.5. It actually has increased from yesterday, or it's at around 7.4. Mad Quick has increased there. Okay. And even on Reddit Box, the score for the Super Mario Bros. movie has went up. To 3.5 to 3.6. Okay. Here. Yeah. But just remember. Okay. You know, people said, oh my god, Turning Red was... Let's compare it to Turning Red on every site. So, Turning Red, here. Turning Red. So, Red Box is at 3.7, but an INDB and a Mad Quick, I think it's much lower because... So, yeah, Turning Red on IMDb is at 7, it's at seven on IMDb. And Metacritic, okay. Well, the critics love turning red. It's at 6.2. Okay. It is higher on every site except for Weatherboxed. Okay, it's higher on every other site except for Weatherboxed. So that means more people liked, liked Mario than turning red. Despite, despite this movie being a critic's darling. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted by Disney. Okay, no, no thank you. Okay. You know. But Mario has a better score than Disney by the audiences on it. And, and this is the highest rated Disney movie of last year. This is not even talking about White Yell and Strange World, which both definitely have way worse scores than, than Mario. And Metacritic, we don't want to be copyright claimed by Universal here, but Metacritic, the score is 8.7. So yes, the audiences love this movie. They love this movie. Okay? This movie has universal acclaim by 
the fans of Nintendo, and by the fans of Mario. And no, of course, it's higher on every site. It's also higher on every site than Sonic 2, which is generally regarded by many people, including myself, as the best video game movie ever made. Okay, Mario is considered better. Okay, which means, for once, Sega does not do what Nintendo don't. Okay. With the critics didn't like this movie as much as either, so, you know, at least Mario and Sonic can agree on something which is not being liked by the critics. Okay, but 7.9 out of 10 for Sonic. As well, Mario has more reviews, I think, already than Sonic. Sonic has around... How many reviews does Sonic have total? They don't tell you. That sucks. Oh, yeah. From 409 total ratings, that's, of course, out of all of this. Okay, that means Mario already has more views than Sonic, and Mario is considered by by the same people the better movie. But yep, Mario movie is considered the better movie than Sonic as well. And people don't really trust this anymore, okay? If you don't really trust this, okay, 53%, come on, okay? 53%, but the audiences gave it a set at 96%. Okay, and yes, I don't really trust Ron Tomato's audience scores. I think the real score is probably around the 8 or 7, around like, similar to IMDb scores, or probably around the 80% or something. For a similar to Metacritic score, I don't think it's 96% of people like the movie, okay? I think it's more around the 80s, but, you know, this is a far difference than the critic score. Save it with Sonic 2. Okay, because the fans of Sonic love the movie. The fans of Mario love the movie. And we're seeing this in the box office as well. People like this movie. And there's nothing to create. It was the critics' last effort to ca- to cancel this movie. First was Chris Pratt's voice. Okay, Chris Pratt is in the movie. He's such, a, he's such an evil man for attending church. Okay, you know. Then it was my, Pete's, you know... She needs to be a girl boss or else. Oh, she didn't get what they wanted. They didn't. Okay. Now it's the Paramax story of the movie. Like with the Mario games themselves. Like they never played a Mario game. Okay. It's funny. Same critics give Mario Odyssey perfect scores. E- even though Mario Odyssey. In every Mario game. Okay. And even in the trailers of Mario Odyssey. Basically the whole point. Part of it. The movie. Not movie. Of the game. And, as, and the movie as well, as what I heard, is that Bowser wants to be with Pete. And it's the same thing in the Mario games, too. Okay, Bowser always wants to kidnap Pete. Okay, Bowser always wants to kidnap Pete. Okay, and the critics loved Mario Odyssey. Okay. The critics loved Mario Odyssey. Okay. And my Odyssey is a great game, obviously, you know, but my Odyssey still had the Paramax story that they hated so much about the Mario movie, okay? The Paramax story, okay, the Paramax story. Yeah, in my Odyssey, you know, Bowser literally kidnaps Pete to force Pete to marry him, okay? And yeah, this is the trailer for my Aussie that's playing in the background. It's utterly ridiculous, and yeah, the, I, this the movie's gonna make money, okay? It is gonna make around 200 million plus worldwide. It probably might even break even in one day, no, in one weekend. It's first weekend, which means, like with this Minions The Rise of Gru, it is gonna only be making profit from my, from, on forward, okay? So yeah, that's basically this video here. Goodbye.